Hey, this is your boy Atavuafo. I'm hanging out with my boy Minister Kobe. You don't want to flip this one because hey, it's going on. Don't you do the things you want and work your way. Keep on going back to waste us in the game. That's why I rededicate my life back to you. I've got nobody else. Don't I you back your way? Come take wow, it. Why you got the
in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you you we live, we're live on Facebook. Uh, that's Minister Cobby Music. <laughs> so you get on there and we're live. If you want to see Casey yeah. promoting okay. Ghana in his, you know, little, you know, <laughs> let's say African attire. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. All swagged <laughs> up in the African <laughs> thing there. Yeah. I'm actually yes. coming from a program, so. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Sunday is the glorious day for gospel <laughs> artists. So, no, yeah, right. that's what it is. Okay, so that is a medley right there. From yeah. when was this recorded? Um, I think about three, four years ago. Wow. Yeah, I think it'll be about three, four years ago. Mm. Yes. Mm. <laughs> wow. It's been and a it's and been a the 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 other songs like. Uh, uh, the promise. Promises. I think mm. promises was the first song I recorded oh. when I left the group. So I was, mm. I was in a. Group. You were in a group. You were yes. in a group. T tell us about the group. Okay, so yeah. I would say it was around two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, mm. when we recorded our first album. So it was wow. me, J Shady, Too Deep. The the Olumen in the in in G H you know Urban Gospel, Urban Gospel. Yeah. so yes the Olumen yes we yeah. saw <laughs> <laughs> so I believe yeah at that time but now but the girls of God is is huge I mean, yeah because yeah, at that I mean, time it was Zigiza right and then right. Uh, Zigiza we we came yeah. later on um with Ian, Ian Ian you know Ian, Ian you know, Dems, you know yeah. yeah okay Ian came with heavenly um something but mm. that was after us mm. and so mm. after us it was Royal Priesthood came out right. 
um, preachers came along, mm-hmm. Esaias came along, mm-hmm. and then later, regardless, Kinskid and yeah, I was in between that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Olu, Olu men. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at that time, you know, the Evan was the, mm. it was yeah. Mm. I mean, like you do it, right. and what you are like, guy, you, what are these guys doing? Like the devil has employed you to come and deceive, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but hey, it's all good. It's God all good. Been good. God has been good. Four years. Wow, it's, it's, it's amazing. And yeah. uh, you started with uh, the promises and that. So you were tell you were telling us about the group. What yes, was the so name we, of the group? So it, it started off as Street Disciples. Street Disciples. disciples. Yes. No wonder. No wonder <laughs> they, they couldn't accept you in that church. I mean, Street Disciples. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, yeah. Just, I think uh-huh. the essence was that we, we were, were the unconventional way. Mm. Mm. The, the Paul of our time. Mm. Mm. We we're reaching out to certain demographics that were not um sort of not sort of feeling mm. the traditional contemporary mm. as at that time. Because mm. we felt that there were a group of people that loved hip hop mm. but did not have alternative. There were mm. a group of people that loved R and B but mm. did not have alternative people mm. that love reggae, mm. um, dance hall and other mm. things and did not have an alternative. Right. So we wanted to give them their alternative mm. as at that time. Mm. Um but unfortunately um I think just shady Mm. was signed on to the love world thing mm. um christ and Buzzy. right so he had yeah. to go and then the leader of our group too deep he had to move to canada to right school. right Sorry. and so and dc you know dc is the beat maker mm. dc was also mm. part of oh um, yeah really yes, yeah also, i remember I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 true true so, true so from true. dc and then so it was me and i was like wow. okay so i was I was really contemplating. I was praying to God. I was like, what do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. Because I believe that everybody has a story. Right. And so God was like, well, let's start. Let's start the journey. So I met mm. CT. Mm. CT is is one of the early pioneers of this. He was playing for Sarko. Mm. He's a Tabar boy. Mm. But now he's in South Africa. Mm. So God connected me to him. What were the other? So he heard me. I was like, no, I actually sang somewhere. And somebody said, right. Um, Katie, I think I have a friend who plays beat and, mm-hmm. you know, so I met him and we did something and yeah, voila. It took off like that. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. So with that it song is... with the lady, the one you play, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. won't you? Yes. So, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Promises. You that's prom- yeah, that's, that, that's that, that, the, the thing. That and then you did a remix of that. Yeah. The Promises. I did a, I did, I did a, a re- yeah, I retook Promises. We, yeah. So this one, okay, so um, Chrissy Arthur's Right, right. Okay, so, so he he produced promises mm. as well, mm. and it was just and it was, I was just feeling it in the moment, and mm. he was available at the time, and mm. so we just he, he created magic. Mm. So I knew him before now, you know. Right, and it came on to the song um, "Trust and Obey." Uh, trust and Obey. Yeah, you have trust and obey, and you have a remix the version remix with um, uh, SDK. Right. What was what's what's up with this remix thing? Like, I mean, you, you have the, the original and remix thing. I mean, well, well, I would say that the thing is probably when somebody hears a track, of right? Me, and be like, KG, this song means to me on the certain level, mm-hmm. and I feel like I'm connected. You want to, to remake want it to, again? To he wants reach. to do something, <laughs> and so then I said, I mean, if you want to work, so with 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 trust and he reached out to me. I was like, mm. I heard this song, mm. and I think I can do something with it. And mm. I was like, you know what? I mean, feel free. So mm. I sent him the beat. But you see, no one has approached you for exceed, exceeding grace. Yeah, I have a lot actually. I have so now we. I want to shoot a video for right now. Scene. Right now, right now, we, we will give you the remix king. <laughs> so <laughs> the we, gospel remix king. You know, that you know? <laughs> funny enough. Let me tell the story. Now, I didn't know the song had gone that way. Mm. The first time I heard it was Lighthouse Chapel. The mm. dancing to it. Mm. Then there was a church in Paris, mm. and somebody sent me the video, like, the right. song is being played here. Mm. Then it started in German. Mm. So I, I think it, it was a lighthouse church right. that started. Right. The, and then KNU was the choreographer, the entire school, they have a choreography, mm. mm. and they choreographed to the song. Mm. And funny, I go to churches and kids are dancing to it, and they don't even know mm-hmm. the person behind mm-hmm. the thing. Mm-hmm. And so later, I got people approaching someone, mm. um... And few other friends, so mm. um, Iraq, Iraq also, Iraq, Iraq, and so it's something I want to do. I want to really put, uh, um, do a re- like a remake of it and put a couple of um, mm. the, the great musicians on it and wow. shoot a video for it. Though. That this is this is amazing. <laughs> you know, having you and you know sharing all this with uh, you know the country is uh, yeah very humbling and right there. But you you know growing up. Mm. 
growing up, uh, how was it? Was there music somewhere? Did you realize there was music somewhere as you was growing up? You know, people be be like, oh, I started singing when I was three <laughs> years old. Years old. <laughs> I'm like, really? You know? <laughs> but hey, how how was it uh, growing up uh, and then falling into the music, you know, okay. session right there? Okay. So how was it? Growing up, I grew up in a very simple conventional family. Mm. But I had an uncle who was in Europe as at that time, the mm. early Borges. Mm. So mm. Borgawan. <laughs> Borgawan. <laughs> so they used to send in a CD, a cassette, um, cassette, cassette. A big one. Yeah. And some CDs. Mm. Yes, it was cassette. So they had mm. Phil, Phil Thompson, mm. Michael Bolton, mm. Brian mm. McKnight, mm. Luther Vandross, that right. kind of collection. Right. And my cousins used to play that in the house. Mm. It was just, they were just playing. Mm. I didn't know a sound was forming in my head. Mm. And then I had a cousin who was into reggae a lot. Mm. So he used to play a lot of reggae tunes. <laughs> I love to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> he used to play a lot of reggae tunes at home. So mm. that also formed a certain part of me. Mm. So I realized that I could sing the same song, but I take it my interpret- interpretation is mm. different. Mm. And then the reggae bit. And then um, I have a family member who was also a musician. Mm. And he's, they call him Elder Moko. Mm. So, wow. he, so he, I mean the the Elder Miracle. The Elder Miracle. So I mean the Elder Miracle. That's the Elder Miracle. Wow. So my grandmother made sure that there are a lot of volume ones, volume twos, volume mm. twos in the house. Mm. So and I was going to church of Pentecost in Kubim. So shout outs to my church, P I W C Atomic. Mm. I know they're listening. Mm. So um and the Pentecost background. So you mm. realize that it was like a mixture of various journeys. Mm. I was very shy, very timid. I I I didn't want anybody to know I could sing. Really? To be honest with you. And let me tell the wow. funniest that the but when I went to Achimoto School mm-hmm. in my first year we were supposed all the four months were supposed to say something like say what you can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah I said I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. So what we used to do was that we used to wake up very early around 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. to bath so that mm-hmm. rising ball up, which I like work right. here and go steady, you know. Yeah. And I was in the bathroom around very early in the morning. You know, in the bathroom too, it had this reverb and echo mm-hmm. sound. Mm-hmm. And I'd forgotten that it was too early in the morning mm-hmm. and I was singing. Mm-hmm. I was just blasting out in the, and then my seniors came and they punished me. <laughs> but they punished me and they connected me to a group on campus which mm. was under SU mm. called um, The Message. Mm. And then, so I went for audition for The Message and they heard me like, you know what, you're singing on Sunday. I'm like, dude, I I can't just move from that to that, but they mm. pushed me and I think that's where it started from. So I think mm. the singing started from Achimota. Mm. And I met, through that I met few people mm. and then Wagzi who produces for the black, um, mm. if you are back, a few other mm. people. Mm. So it was like, oh, come and sing something small for me. Mm. Come and sing something small mm. and church. Mm. But I had very low self esteem. Mm. So I couldn't stand <laughs> to sing anywhere. Wow. But God, in His wisdom, was telling me that everything that you are or are afraid of or going through, mm-hmm. I'm going to use it to tell a story. Mm. And so that's how the writing process came in. Mm. And even trust and obey. Though it's a hymn, mm-hmm. my I needed it at a certain part of my life where I felt like I was in a standstill and things were not mm-hmm. happening. God wasn't like, I need mm-hmm. you to trust me mm-hmm. on this moment. Mm-hmm. And ever since that's how the journey, mm-hmm. the journey has become. Mm-hmm. And yeah, since that we just see. <laughs> wow. We're just going on and on and on and on. And wow. On. Yeah. So you, 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 uh, uh, you, you come from a musical background. Um, to, to some extent, let's say one person. <laughs> mm. That one person, I mean, is is huge. Like, I mean, it's huge. But you see, there was no direct grooming. You mm, know, like, mm. you know, there are some people that maybe they had the privilege of maybe right. studying. Right. For me, I knew. Oh, he comes to the house. To, mm. You know, it was that thing. It wasn't mm. like the elder who who took you by the hand right. and. You know, I, I I think I studied by observing. Right. So maybe I look at you, Minister Kobe, I, mm. I watch you over a period. I'm like, mm. this is how he, he does blah, blah, blah. And mm-hmm. I pick something. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't in a hurry to, to blow. Mm. Let me put it in that mm. way. Or I, I, was, I wanted to learn. Mm. I wanted to understudy. Mm. Not make repeat certain mistakes. Mm. So I was just watching and picking. And so sometimes people see like, like we just heard of you and somebody like he's been there for a mm-hmm. couple of years, right, you know? right? But 
because of understanding and the process and the ups and downs, mm. I think you become better mm. with time. Mm. Then, yeah. Wow. Nice. We are chatting with uh, the man Casey Owusu. Yes, Casey yeah. Owusu. Your full name is Casey Owusu Cetri. Cetri. Yeah. Uh, wh- Where are you from? Where you come? Where are you hailing from? Okay, so uh, my mom is a Kepi. I'm from the two mountains. My mm. mom is a Kepi. My mm. dad is Kepi. So you are in between the mountains. <laughs> the mountain <laughs> then, then all you have to do is look up to the hills. <laughs> I'm a mountain right. boy. I'm a mountain mm. boy. Wow, yeah. wow. And wow. I'm, 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 I serve as a worship leader in my church mm. at PRWC Atomic. So Atomic, uh, yeah, the, 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 the police station, you know, the, the Atomic are close to the roundabout domain. Yeah, exactly. The, the, you see, there's a big that, church. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Pentecost. The Pentecost oh, okay. Yes, oh, oh, that's where you are. Yes, that's where wow. I am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've been using the ring. Yeah, I mean, I've been uh, some some couple of times. Oh, okay. Like I mean, when when you're also going to if I'm in town, <laughs> Obed, Obed, you know, uh, place, place, yeah, you yeah, actually yeah. pass yeah. there and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so that's where it's. Yes. Now, tell us about uh, you uh, going hiding, going to hide inside, uh, <laughs> you know, Europe and you know those places. You know, tell us about you know the experience. Oh, uh, you just came down. Yes. Please. Yeah. So um, tell us about that the, that experience. I mean, how did it all start? Okay, in a, in a... So it started about five years ago. Mm. Um, well, you know, when you're ministering, I mean, sometimes mm-hmm. by the grace of God, you get prophetic words like, oh mm. God, do the, 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 yeah, you will fly. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 and and some, I remember one one of the things that uh, I was told was that there, mm. there was a there was a higher purpose for mm. what I was doing, mm. and. Through me, God is going to reconcile people to mm, God. Mm. And so about five years ago, I went for a worship program. Mm. Very funny. And I was I was on the bill as part of the ministers mm. to, to minister among other you were the many more. No, I wasn't the many more. I was part of it. <laughs> so, but this one, enough, this one, I wasn't the many more. Usually, I'm the many more. The many so more. The many more. <laughs> Someone once told me that yeah. hey, many more today are a lot. <laughs> it happens. I mean, I used to be a many more. Right, I was right. Like, I was a small picture at the corner there. So, when I came, mm-hmm. because of the, the ministers, I was serving them. Mm, Though we were all mm, on the bill, mm, I, they, would, they need something. I go and buy right. more water. I was just serving. Mm. And then I went to minister. Mm. And then the, the, one of the ministers also came up and, and he was, th- through his ministration, mm. he was like, the Lord said that um, he somebody, he will connect you to somebody mm-hmm. and that will be the birthing mm. of your ministry to the, the nations. And this was five years ago. That was five years wow. ago. Wow. And prior to that, I tried to go to Europe. So mm. in, I think during mm. the Bola time, mm. um, we I was giving one of the tasks was to write a song mm. for the Librarian Humanitarian Awards, something mm. like that, mm. in Chicago. Mm. And so we did it, and then they wanted to award me for that, and they had sent in blah blah blah. Mm. And I went to America, but this city they won't mind me. Mm-hmm. I don't have travel experience. So mm. I should go away. So I was, I mean, like really close my mm. nose. And but at the meeting he said that God will connect you to some Nigerians. Mm. And funny enough, it was actually a Nigerian. So mm. they were launching a TV, an online TV program in Switzerland, Geneva, right. called Inspire TV. Mm-hmm. And they had heard about You Are Holy, one of the songs mm. there on, on my and then they and I was like, But have your Frank Edwards and your Sinatra and all the people that mm. know we want you to come. What will it take for you to come? And I said, nothing at you. I'm available, so so they said. God being so good, they they work in the UN, so mm-hmm. it was a bit easier. So mm-hmm. of it, the process mm-hmm. was fast; that was mm-hmm. easier. And mm-hmm. then five years ago, the Lord started. Mm-hmm. So it was Switzerland, started of Switzerland, mm-hmm. went to Germany, went to Belgium, went to Amsterdam. So the Lord started. So you are now the Schengen, you know, <laughs> the but Schengen, you know. <laughs> We are Schengen and Schengen. <laughs> so, we are Schengen and Schengen. <laughs> Schengen. Schengen. And I guess it's Schengen. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it was about three years ago. Mm-hmm. I, I was in, um, I think I was in Brussels. Mm. And the Lord, like, it, it really dawned on me to mm. start something called the Jesus Campaign. 
Mm. And uh, God was saying that I didn't just bring you to just come and sing and go, mm. but I brought you. Uh, and He reminded me of the prophecy right. and the scripture. I think it was Second Corinthians five seventeen, mm. and it was talking about God reconciling people to mm. to Himself, mm. and that was how the mandate started. Mm. And so then the following year, we had our first maiden mm. um, evangelism concerts so, mm, so mm. the medium was word and worship mm. and that's what we use and mm. so we started jesus campaign mm. and we've done the first edition in birmingham and mm. god willing in, in february we'll be doing Ghent, belgium mm. so it's it's just basically it's just mm. a reconciliation mm. platform it, 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 wow wow nice and uh you that that this this current one you went to was yeah. in, in germany I also I this current I was this current you was in was Germany. In what, Germany. What did you go and do there? Okay, so I was invited. You just going to have lunch, and you know, I mean, yeah. Casey, Casey does our cases, you know. Like okay. we'll be having lunch in Germany, you know, breakfast in Switzerland, and Let's you know, see. yeah, like you see, that's how that's how you. That's how you roll. Right. So tell us about this uh, current one. Okay, so there's a group. It's, it's like it's similar to say joyful way or mm. overflow mm. in in Belgium. Mm. Um, it's called the PE Life Group. You can check mm. out there. They mm. do an all if it's very dynamic, mm. multicultural group, mm. and um, they they invited me for their program in Ghent. Mm. But um, prior to that, I also had two events in Germany mm-hmm. and then um, Amsterdam. Mm. So um, yeah, I went for mm. it was a lunch of a sold out. It's I think it's sold out something. Mm. It's, Sold out something by something we have to do. Yeah, sold out. so we are selling out. <laughs> <laughs> so by the grace of God, I I was in Germany and then I did an event with mm. them. I did mm. two different groups. Mm. So there's one group called the Remnant Group. Mm. It's also a youth advocacy group, mm. and but it it's also on the path of youth empowerment mm. stuff like that. And mm. then they had um they have another group, the mm. Sold Out Group. Mm. And then um I was invited by John Angle to PIWC mm. in Amsterdam. Mm. So we did something there and then Resurrection Park in Living Brain also mm. they have it there. Mm. But the main reason for going was in Belgium. So right. that's when and the funny thing when I finished that event mm. the the church my church there mm-hmm. okay so there's a Pentecost church right. there. I'm ha- I had opportunity to go and minister there, mm-hmm. and then they actually extended my right, my stay so okay. that I can help out with mm. the, the church choir oh, and okay. few other things. Wow. And then, yeah, small wow. MD job. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then yeah, and I was teach them some. So, and I also had the opportunity to shoot my new song. I don't. Mm. Um, I'd send them. I sent the song earlier to them, and some. People heard about it, mm-hmm. and then um, somebody opted to shoot the mm. video wow. for it. So wow. yeah, we are trusting that. Wow! I might release it soon. Mm, yes, yes, and uh, Adam, Adam, Adam. Uh, I think is here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be we'll be ending it with uh, ending this one uh, with Adam. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us about Adam. How did it all come about? What inspired you to write Adam? Is it that? Uh, you hear <laughs> pastors or your pastor at uh, what's the name of your pastor at uh, at PWC? PWC. He's called it, Reverend P-I-W-C. Stephen Obo. Shout out, to you. Reverend Stephen Obo. He's a pastor of swag. Yeah, <laughs> big shouts to you, uh, Reverend uh, Stephen, Stephen Obo. This is Obo. Your boy yeah, there's your boy KC. <laughs> yeah, in the place to be. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, and uh, right. So, is it that? Maybe people or your pastor will be saying, Oh, the grace of God, oh the grace of oh, the grace is powerful. The grace. Yeah. Or you had some conviction in you or something. I mean, how it, did this song happen? You know, I it, there's a song on my list called Yeah, um, Yes You Are the Lord. Mm. It's, it's on it somewhere. Mm. I was the, the first time I traveled, I was I actually mm. you know when you're about to land in fifteen minutes, you're right, landing in skip Right, ball. right. And I was like, Charlie, me proud. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I didn't envision it. Right. And it's not right. it's not about how could I don't know how you know what they call connect whatever. Mm, mm. But I realized that it's just the grace of God. 
that mm. can pick somebody from some corner in some church mm. that maybe people don't know some about shy man some, boy. some girls <laughs> away some girls <laughs> away and then the Lord will just bring you over mm. here mm. I, I believe that everything that I have and have been is just by its exceeding grace mm. so I have a song exceeding grace mm, right. so I, was, I think I was just in the studio with Mr. B, the, mm. the, pro, um, the producer, and mm. I, we were talking. Mm. And I was like, okay, so Charlie, God falls for you. So Charlie, God falls for you. <laughs> it be grace. Wow. Wow. And so it was like everything. I was like, so who sent me on class? Who sent me It's yes, because growing up, I was hit with cellulitis. I was hit with mild stroke. I was sick. Mm. On, it, it was it was like back to back. To, it was just wow. crazy. And it, it was in a place where my mom was like, ah, but you really, you, why do we, from one hospital, we moved to one, 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 one. And academically, I wasn't as sharp as my mm. bigger brothers and my mm. cousins. Mm. They were there, you know, they had a PhD and doctor. Mm. Like, we, see, see. Mm. So it was like, you're the one that everybody, you know, like when the results come, look at your brother, look at your, this, mm. you know. And at a point, I felt like nothing could come up, to be honest mm. with you. I felt like it was a waste of investment. I felt mm. like I was a waste of investment. Mm. But now, by the grace of God, certain platforms that the Lord has opened mm. and for me to be where I am mm. completely is grace. Mm. And and so that is that's that best the writing process. It's wow. That, yeah. Wow. We uh just uh <laughs> you know talked uh, I mean uh, I mean some quiet time right there, yeah. eighteen minutes past the R eleven. And then, so we're about to wrap up this one. And uh, you got an album? Uh, any album coming up? Or you, yeah, I mean, I'm actually working on an album. Okay, so I have two projects coming up. Mm. Um, I have an EP coming up. Mm. It's 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 a very deep EP. Very soon, mm. you love it. The mm. continent. We took time to work on that. Mm. And I'm also planning to do a live mm. recording. Mm. And so that that is a Christ Walk project. Mm. And this one, I call it from Mara to Ellen. Mm. It's, it's it's uh it's it's, it's deep mm. so that's what i'm working on two two projects simultaneously mm. but we want to do a live recording mm -hmm. of of the main album mm. and this one is, is a digital recording of mm. the album as well so mm. yeah and i've done a few collaborations i think i've done preachers mm. i've done ralph mm. Mm. i've done obj i've done 2d mm. i have a few other songs yet to come up like yeah so okay. i think the only person i've not done a collaboration with me is Kobe, which <laughs> nice. okay all right uh yeah. thank you so much for you know coming here thank you uh thank you. to thank share you. this with you know the country and beyond uh people are on uh facebook live on my facebook live oh. and uh, we got this dude uh abdul rashid yeah abdul rashid says you're in the building more grace and uh big shots to ohima nyamiche i mean there are a lot there are a lot here yeah. nana ama ohima something nyamiche and all a lot a lot of people here <laughs> but thank you Shout for doing the watching the... yeah and all that uh okay your so your social media handles well how can we get connected to you know casey in case there is maybe some event organizer listening and wants to get in touch with uh you Okay, so I'm on Facebook, Casey Owusu, K A Y S I, mm -hmm. O W U S U, mm. Casey Owusu. Mm. Um, on 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 Twitter is Casey Music. Mm. On Instagram is Casey Owusu. Mm. On Snapchat is Casey mm. Owusu. Mm. And then I'm on Reverb Nation for a slash mm. Casey Owusu SoundCloud okay. for a slash Hawkshare. And then very soon Amazon and iTunes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes, Thank yes. you so much for you, this uh, very one. And we pray that uh, everything goes on smoothly and successful Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for Thank you. you. And uh, we pray the ministry of Casey Owusu will go higher and higher Jesus. to reach the second black president of America. <laughs> Are you prophesying? Yeah, and the first white president of Ghana. <laughs> You're prophesying with your eyes open. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've entered so soon. <laughs> All right. So thank this you, thank is... You, thank you. Right. Any... any Thank well, you. Shout outs to Abdul, you know, Abdul, Abdul right, Rashid. Right. Shout outs to my team. Right. Um, Eric Isiama. Mm -hmm. Shout outs to Nat. Shout outs to um, Osman Taylor. Mm. 
Shout outs to my family back mm, at home. Mm, my church and my family, they are mm, my support mm, system. Mm, they they will push you, they will encourage you, they'll pray right. for you. So thank you. And my friends, Ralph Abel, and everybody watching online, everybody listening to me, thank you for your support, your prayers. We welcome your feedback. Mm. Keep encouraging and keep praying for us. God bless. Yeah. You know, you know, we, we do it like that, Shout. you know. Yeah. And, and the we, boss himself. Who is that? MK. Nanado. MK. Nanado. Bitch, I'm still Nanado. MK. Nanado. Okay, okay. Nanado. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the president Nanado you know, from not, KCO. Not, not everybody will. No, not everybody will open their doors for you like this. MK, you're doing. I mean, I've been watching you over the years and giving platforms to people who are not mm. known. Mm. You know, you push them, and it's amazing. God mm. bless you. You don't know the lives you're blessing, and they affect you, make it. Mm. Probably nobody will say, but heaven is proud of you. Man. Mm. God bless you. Hey, heaven is proud. Shout. Hey, heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this is Adam from the camp of Casey with a brand new joint. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 